Steelers' friendship ended with Kenny Pickett. Justin Fields is the Steelers' new best friend. It's almost as if they're teasing the inevitable with every move. I mock Arthur Smith, they get Arthur Smith. I say I'm not a Justin Fields fan, they get Justin Fields. Of course. Of fucking course. A few weeks ago, the arguments were if Pittsburgh would get Fields or Russell Wilson as their new QB. Never thought they'd end up getting both, but life is strange like that. I don't know how we got here, but the Steelers have overhauled their quarterback room and their wideout and O-lines are being overhauled as well. Steeler way is evolving with every aggressive move by Omar Khan. Justin Fields was like the bread maker from old school. Chicago kept trying to re-gift him to anyone with a passing need under center, but no one wanted him. They had absolutely zero leverage in negotiations, no matter how many rumors of second round pick were the expected return. And it was when he was going to be traded. Nothing personal, he lost his job the moment the Carolina pick was first overall. The only people who expected him to stay in Chicago were the delusional. Trust me, I know the feeling. However, to get him for a conditional sixth that might become a fourth rounder? That's insanely depressed value. For a guy who's more or less going to be a backup that can start in a pinch, that's a steal. The thing with Fields is that he has talent. He's shown flashes of brilliance as a bear. That's been equaled by an even more maddening inconsistency. One amazing play followed by endless duds. I felt the key to Chicago's offense was DJ Moore last season, but the Bears did him absolutely no favors. Especially when Matt Nagy did whatever the fuck his rookie season was. In a lot of ways, Kenny Pickett and Justin Fields were in the same situation. High pedigree quarterbacks given a shit shake by their drafted team with a bunch of elements that went against them. A shit ton of Bears fans ripped on Luke Getze for mismanaging Fields. And like with Canada and Pickett, we'll see who's truly to blame. It's a boom-bust trade. If it works, the Steelers have a starting QB potentially for a while. If it doesn't, it only cost a day three pick, no biggie. So my friends, on behalf of Steeler Nation, I would personally like to welcome every single insufferable field stand on Twitter to the Black and Gold Brigade. You are going to be frustrated on the ride, and you are going to enjoy every 9-8 and eight season and hopeful playoff appearance where we get our asses kicked like a man, like the rest of us do. Let's ride, kids! I'm gonna be about 80% alcohol by the end of this season, aren't I?